Well, in this film, we're visiting Briar on the islands of Scilly, so taking a little boat to get over there. And Briar is one of the smallest of the inhabited islands and has a population of about 80 people. And it's a lovely, beautiful scenery. There's a few sort of houses. Uh, here's the high street. There's not a lot there, but it's very attractive. And there's wonderful wildlife and a lovely, rugged coastline. And of course, nature abounds everywhere, like that lovely song thrush. It's a fairly easy island to explore, and this is a view of Hell Bay on a calm day. That faces the Atlantic, it gets the full force of the Atlantic in the winter, and there's been many a shipwreck reputedly in the area. It looked rather nice and calm when we were looking at it all, and you get a very good view from some of the higher vantage points. There are wonderful walks actually all around the island, and you cross ancient heatherland where there are old carns and old stone workings. And as you look across, there's Hale Bay Hotel, which is a very nice place to take some refreshment or some lunch. And you can see the other islands like Tresco. It's very relaxing, and the countryside is hard going, but it's it's good walking area. Nice little cafe, and also a very nice little church with nice stained glass windows inside. And we saw quite a few of these nice stained glass windows around the different islands from the local stained glass artist. And it captures scenes of Scilly. In this church, there's also a very nice piece of patchwork quilting. And that brought out different aspects like the gig racing with the boats, the bishop's lighthouse, the seals, the wildflowers and the daffodils that they sell and grow, the agapanthus plants. And I just thought this was very nicely put together. It showed a bit of sort of character about the islands and about people's occupations and about the life with the sea and the land. And again, some very impressively sweeping views. Anyway, it made a very nice place to spend the day just wandering around, having a look. And there's Tresco in the background. On the way back, we took a boat. And it was interesting, it was low tide and the boat was struggling through places because of the sea channel. And you could actually see wreckage from an old ship with its boiler plates being exposed by the sea. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching this one and thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.